Hello everyone and this is our filigree paper tutorial. This is what you can end up with uh, if you download our filigree paper background. Basically we wanted to give you the opportunity to have a downloadable file uh, that you could pretty much make your own backing paper so that you weren't reliant on what you had in the cupboard. I've used our design and I'm just going to start off by using some um, of the Distress inks basically any inks that you have are absolutely fine and I've just sort of picked three colours here that go quite nicely together the beauty of having this kind of thing with your background design is that you really can fit it uh, to whatever colour scheme project that you're working on and to actually decorate it and turn it into a finished backing paper you'll probably be able to use pretty much anything that you have um, in, in, in your stock cupboard so I'm just going to go over this and, and colour in the background and, and blend in these three colours to give me a good base there to move on to the next step. So as you can see I've just coloured the background in, in the three colours that I want to use for this project. But the next thing I'm going to do is take a glue pen, um, again something a quickie glue pen, something that we should all have in our cupboards and obviously this is a fairly detailed design so I'm not going to pick out every element, I'm just going to pick out a few. Um, again, if you've got a nice rainy day afternoon and want to spend the, the time sort of following the whole design you can, but again it works just as well just by picking out a few of the details that you want. I'm literally drawing over the lines of the design with a quickie glue pen and then I'm going to go on and add some glitter. Um, again, something I'm sure we all have hundreds of in our in our cupboards. And as I say, as you can see, I've just started to pick out a few elements of the design uh, to glitter, and I will keep on uh, going through and picking out the other other elements. Trying to follow a pattern, I'm trying to pick out the same piece on each row down as it is a repeating pattern, um, and just go down and, and until I've reached the end. As I said earlier, these papers really are if you want to take crafting right back to the very beginning um, and want to have sort of some control over the papers that you have or that horrible time when you want something and you can't get out and uh, just to be able to download your own papers. This here is just a typical gold metallic marker um, which I purchased from the internet. I'm going to go on to the next level of the design and again just pick out a few aspects of it just to, to bring a different element to it um, and just to go through and pick out certain points. It really does leave everything open to your imagination as to what you want to do and it gives you complete freedom. You have the, the basic design there and it's pretty much up to what you want to do with it for the look that you want and also as to what products you have at home that you want to use. the bit I've done with the glitter um, and the gold liner it's not showing up particularly well on the video but I think you agree that it's quite pretty just as it is um, and again you can leave it there or, or move on I've actually picked up here a liner um, pretty similar to the kind of thing that you use for glass painting it's a relief it gives you a, a slightly higher edge as I want to use the product later on that needs a little bit of a barrier to keep it in the same place so again the same principles apply I've just picked out an element of the design which I'm going around um, and going to go down all the way through to follow the repeating pattern and then I can go on to use the next product that I have going down all the way through repeating the same part of the pattern with uh, the relief liner until you get to the end. And there I hope you can just see uh, I've picked out the, um, the curved diamond shape in the middle of it uh, which I'm now going to fill with a product that I absolutely love. It's the Liquid Liquitex Acrylic Inks. Uh, this is the metallic range. I absolutely love anything metallic. And I've picked out the silver one here because I think it goes quite nicely with the blues and the, and the purples. 
and it comes with a little dropper and all I'm going to do is because I have the relief there to keep the paint in place is to drop a little drop in there and then just spread it out very gently with a paintbrush and it will give you a very nice sort of solid metallic shape and again same process applies just go through and keep doing the same thing all the way through until you've finished your design what I'm doing as I say I'm now picking out the curved diamond shape uh, these Liquitex acrylic oil, uh, inks are absolutely amazing they're my new favorite product just takes one tiny drop and then you can just spread it out with the paintbrush and that's why as I say I use the relief because it does sort of keep it contained and, and sort of floods the area giving you a really nice even finish It's a really nice unique pattern paper. It does take a little bit of while but uh, it's quite a nice thing to do when you're sitting down watching TV or something and gives you a really unique look you know to your own backing papers. I'm just trying to show you how here with the design that you can really um, get so much out of it. Uh, this is just exactly the same pattern. I've just printed it out onto some coloured cardstock and I've taken a couple of metallic markers and I'm just going to go through once again, I'm going to pick out certain bits of the design um, just to show that you really can spend a really long time on it. You can fill in all of the details, you can overtrace all of the lines or you can just pick out certain elements. Uh, depending on one, what kind of programs you have on your computer, you might actually find that uh, your printer, your PDF file will let you um, change the ink colour, change the um, darkness of the lines, so you might be able to fiddle around with that, but that is something that will be dependent on your PDF reader. So here I am, I'm just going through, as I say, it's exactly the same file, exactly the same pattern, which is the filigree pattern. Um, and I'm just going through, and this time I'm picking out uh, different parts of the pattern in a silver ink metallic pen. And then um, I will go on to use the gold in a moment. through as I say just using two metallic pens that you've probably got uh, in your crafting kit anyway um, but again the colour is completely down to you um, and it's actually quite therapeutic I really enjoyed doing these you just uh, it's a bit like colouring um, so just go through follow the design through whichever design you want to pick and then you can move on to the next stage. You can actually leave it at this point and if you want to add things like gems and stuff that obviously you wouldn't want to waste if you've got any off cut from paper, you could leave it here, use what you want and then sort of add to the design. That's the finished bit there, that just using metallic markers um, and I think again it, I think it's, you know, it's quite a unique piece of backing paper. And I've just taken a pearl pen and again I'm just going to pick out a few elements of the design just to give it a bit of um, texture. Um, and as I was saying, if, if you want to add things like gems or slightly more expensive things from your craft stash, you know, you can always use the card for what you're going to use it for. Um, and 
then actually just sort of decorate the pieces that you use on your project so that you're not putting gems or anything like that on, on the pieces that you're going to end up with as offcuts. Uh, so you can decorate it in two stages. So I'm just going to go through with the uh, little pearl marker and just put a few dots in, in a few places just to add some texture to the background. Just finishing off here now. And there you go, a very nice, unique, uh, different backing paper, which again would look lovely on green or yellow or whatever colour cardstock you're using for your project. We are hoping to add many, many more designs uh, to this range, so please keep uh, your eyes open on the website. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.